Okay, this is a uh, video tutorial for setting up uh, the Shoutcast tools on a remote Linux server. Um, <clears throat> I have an old Linux server that I've got hooked up to my local network. Um, it was, at one point, a live functioning business server. Um, server for a business that I had set up myself a while back, a long time ago. It's now in my possession. Um, and I'm going to be using it instead of my current Linux server because it's already doing things with Shoutcast. So I figured I'd do it with this clean server to show you how to do it. Um, <clears throat> so I forgot how to make a new user in Linux. So I'm going to use my best friend on the whole wide internet world, Google, and I'm going to do a search for the command to uh, create a new user. <clears throat> create a user and I'm going to use my version of Linux. You're probably using Ubuntu or the, that's the common one but I'm used, I use, I installed, set up a Fedora Core 10 server for the business when I created it so I'm going to search for that. Hmm, can't type. I don't want to create, okay. System config users. Not only use the graphical user tool because they're doing it remotely. Using text based command. User user add command. Ah, okay. Good. So user add. <coughs> Alright, so normally you're not able to run log in as root, but I had already configured my server to allow me to log in directly as root but I think I have SU install as you can see I'm using putty here um, I forgot to show you <coughs> I have already uh, put the uh, name of the server testserver.com in the thing I completely forgot um, you can uh, <coughs> when you first use putty you can uh, enter the name of your server the URL to it the port which is usually 22 and you can name it so you can save a session you don't have to keep retapping each double click on it so I'm just going to show you test server dot com and save it and it'll save it here so every time you open putty you just double click on it and it'll take you right to the screen instead of tap it over and over again anyway so I'm going to log in <coughs> is the only user I've had set up so far on this server I think this was the password yep it was okay <coughs> So I'm going to su to root and create the user for the shellcast account. User add. Shotcast user. Okay, so I've added the user, and now it says you gotta pick a password for it. Yeah, they misspelled created. <laughs> okay, you need to create a password for user. Pass WD for C user. <coughs> C user. <coughs> Pass WD SC user.
Hello? That's not a dictionary word. Whatever. Okay. Alright, so now I will exit the putty session <coughs> and re log in as the Alright, so <clears throat> Fedora created a uh, a home place for my new account, looks like. Oh. Alright, so... <coughs> Pardon me for the cough. Now, <clears throat> to install Shoutcast, I'm going to create a directory for Shoutcast and go to it. And it is, of course, empty. I'm going to use a command called wget. That's common to all Linux distributions. At least I think it's common to all Linux distributions. But I'm going to get it the easy way. Copy link location. W get and I pasted it into the terminal and it's retrieving the file. <coughs> now while that does that, I'm going to go back to the You can if you want transcoder. I'm not going to use a transcoder for this demo. But you can you want let me show you how to do it. It's a big one. This looks like it might be a multi-part, multi-video tutorial because I'm already down to four minutes remaining on this run. All right, so so now we have the files, sc-serve and sc-trans on the remote server, the tarballs. I didn't have to switch out of uh, the putty shell to a PSFTP or anything. It's just right there. <coughs> Alright, so now I forgot how to unpack turballs. So I'm gonna look that up too and go my from my f buddy friend Google unpack itar.gz easy. Look at that. 
You see that? That was easy. Ish. Alright, so we've got the executable, sc serve, and some configuration files in the readme. And the config builder, we won't be able to use it because we're doing it from a remote shell, but there it is. And the logs folder and all that stuff. So, <coughs> now all we need to do is create a configuration file. But basically, now SC serve is now installed on your machine. Uh, so, a configuration file. I can still use the, the config builder, so. <coughs> Even though I can't access it from there, there is a copy of it running here. So I might as well unpack the other one too. Blam. Now I'm not going to be using any of these configuration files, so I'm going to, to remove them all. <coughs> just the configuration files. So now I don't have any example configuration files in this directory, so that makes it kind of pretty. And I'm up against the clock, so I'm going to go ahead and make this a two-part video, <coughs> and uh, we'll continue from here. See you on the other side. <coughs>